good man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here laboring in our truth and sincerity to USA Shalom. This is the brother Amawan Ariyah from GMS Charlotte, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. And in this lesson, I wanted to speak on this quote that you see on the screen because, you know, it's always, you know, said, especially here, you know, in, you know, GMS Charlotte, that, hey, look, we, as the hopeful elect, we have, you know, a, a, a one up on the rest of these people out here in this world, okay, because we have been given the foresight on what's to come. All right, the understanding of what these prophecies are speaking about, and the Lord has given us, you know, time to to prepare for Yahweh Shah's return, man. All right. So as you read on the screen, it says sometimes faith will make you look stupid until it starts to rain. All right, and at the end of the day, that's exactly how we look to these people. All right, we look foolish. Okay. But that's a good thing in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Because we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai just as Noah feared Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And so, as you know, the wisdom, you know, that we have been given through that fear, all right, we are moved, excuse me, we are moved with fear to do what the Lord commanded of us, man. Okay? And what was Noah commanded to do, all right? He was told that the Lord was going to flood the earth, all right? And Noah moved with fear to build an ark to save him and his house, okay? And for over 100 years, Noah built, you know, on the ark until it was completed. And, you know, during that time, you know, the, the masses, they, they saw what Noah was doing, all right? They heard Noah prophesying, and, and nobody took him serious, all right? They mocked at him. They scoffed at him, okay? They said he was crazy because at that time, all right, rain was unheard of, man, because we understand that, you know, the uh, the earth, you know, was, was self-sufficient at that time to where, you know, the water would come up out of the earth, all right, which we know is as due today, okay? But the concept of rain was unheard of back then, all right? So hearing Noah prophesy about how the Lord was going to, you know, uh, flood the earth, that seemed like that was foolish. But at the end of the day, Noah, you know, he did what the Lord commanded of him to, man. All right. Real quick. All right. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. It says, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us, which are saved, it is the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? It said the preaching of the cross is foolish is foolishness unto the unlearned, man. Because these people that are of this world, they look at, you know, the works that we're doing as insignificant, you know, that we didn't gave up our lives to, you know, teach this word and, you know, put ourselves, you know, in the uh in the way of persecution. All right, for for the Lord's sake, man. These people don't they don't uh they don't look at that as anything but crazy. Because here it is, we're teaching about, you know, uh how this economy is gonna collapse. Okay, we're teaching about how the Lord, who is a so called black man, is gonna uh, uh return to the earth on a giant so called UFO to beam up his elect. And in the midst of the, of the elect being beamed up, that all these different countries that have conflict with America are going to shoot nuclear missiles over here and to the land of Israel and various parts of the earth during World War III. This sounds crazy, you know, to uh, the masses because they're, you know, taken by the prince of the power of the air, man. They don't have the, uh, the gift of faith to be able to see these things, man. All right. 
So they look at us as fools for, for you know, giving up our lives and to come out here and, and, and preach this message. All right. But it's going to come a time to where these things are, 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 are you know, going to take place as we are starting to see this happening, man. OK, just as the craziness of, of how it looked to where these people, the mass majority of these people, when they heard that Yahweh Shah, who the world even calls Jesus, was a so-called black man, that that looked at that was looked at as, you know, a, a nonsense, you know, until these uh until these so-called Christians and the rest of these people that claim to believe in the Bible. And then when Putin, you know, spirit was put on Putin to open up that vault and and show the uh the biblical icons. Now you got all these people, you know, uh, uh bucking up against Christianity. You know, they don't they don't believe what the Bible talking about. So they're burning Bibles, all right? They're, you know, uh, 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 forsaking their so-called beliefs all because uh, uh, of images. But we know that those images are important for truth's sake. So that's one of the things that we that we stood on, all right? So how much more, you know, the different things that we are telling you people are going to take past, uh, to come to pass, man, all right? So like I said, 1 Corinthians 1 and 18, it says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that prayer is foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So us telling the people to deny themselves on this side and prepare, you know, for uh for everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven, man, that, that sounds uh, uh nonsense to these people because they want to continue to to try to make it work here in this world because they don't truly see that this place is done. All right, they can't see the, the, the signs, the writing on the wall of how America babble on the greatest finish, man. All right. As we see, you know, this infrastructure is, is pretty much, you know, is is failing. All right. The morality of the people is gone. All right. The direction that the world is going is completely demonic and satanic. But to those whose eyes are blinded, they don't see the things that we come out and, and, and sigh and cry about, man. OK, so to, you know, to be moved with faith to come out here and, and, and talk against the, you know, the, the thinking points and the talking points of the rest of the world, man, that looks crazy because these people don't really understand what we're fighting for, man. All right. But that's OK. All right. It says, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai made foolish the wisdom of this world? And that has been, you know, the case, man. Because here it is, you know, uh, the the least, you know, look, uh, uh, you know, look for people, all right, so called Negro, Latino, Native American men, who you will call, you know, unlearned or uncredited, are coming out here and confounding the so called wise of this world. These these, you know, so-called historians, you know, theologians, you know, these, you know, highly accredited people of this world, and they they are made, uh, being made to look completely stupid, all right, compared to, you know, the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding that we have been imparted with through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? And so with that being known, we are starting to, you know, uh, uh, open the eyes of the people in the world, but yet... When it comes to these end time prophecies, man, these people still don't have a clue of how crazy this shit is about to get. And while we are, just as Noah was doing, we are building that spiritual rock. It's like uh, the spiritual ark, which, you know, it's rock too, all right? We are building that spiritual ark, all right, to prepare for when that rain comes, man, because we know it's coming, all right? This this Edomite man, he he is about to come down full force, you know, on you uh on you people out here, man. All right, and if you don't have the provisions to uh to to protect yourself from these different events that's about to take place, man, you're gonna find yourself getting caught up out here and getting swept away, man. Okay, because at the end of the day, we we know that it's gonna be complete destruction that's coming, man. All right. Esau is not playing, man. This is why hey, we constantly bring out the warnings about what this devil is about to do to the uh, to the world, man. All right. 
Because it says, man, once again, I'm going to read it. Sometimes faith will make you look stupid until it starts to rain, man. Because here it is, you know, going back to the uh, the opening uh, scripture, we see the evil. And so we, through faith and fear, you know, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, we are preparing to try to get, uh, to to try to earn a hedge to protect us from that rain when it comes, man, because it's coming, all right? And it's nearer than what you believe, man, just as our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man, all right? So uh, Proverbs 22 and 3, it says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished, all right? So we see the evil that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to bring on the earth, man. All right, and what is the evil the Lord is bringing, man? Okay, let's get that real quick. All right, this is 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. It says, Behold, save the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay, that is, that is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to bring, man. All right. Because all the wickedness that's going on in the earth, as it's going to say in verse 6, all right, Yahweh Shem El Shah is, is preparing a judgment for all those that refuse to repent. This is only dealing with you so-called Negro or Latino Native Americans because you are the only ones that have the ability to repent. But we know, you know, a good majority of our people will not, all right, as it is prophesied in Zechariah the, thir uh, the 13th chapter, the 8th and 9th verse, man, all right? So 2 Ezra 15 and 6, it reads, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right? So because wickedness is everywhere, okay? These people don't understand the anger that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah harbors for this place. All right? And just as during the, the period of when Noah was on the earth, man. All right? The Lord was angry back then. And, and what did he do because of that anger, man? All right. He flooded the uh, the earth, man. All right. Just as he's about to flood the earth again. But before it was done with water, this time it's going to be done with fire, man. All right. So let me get this just for uh, since I spoke on that. Give me one second. <clears throat> All right, this is Genesis chapter six, verse five. It says, And Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And that's exactly what is taking place today. But today's time is even more wicked than it was back then, man. All right. And who was the main culprits of that wickedness, man? It was the sons of God, man. All right. Which that was, you know, what we were called before we were, uh, we were called Israelites, man. All right. So the chosen lineage, okay, that stemmed from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. You know, which really going back to Adam, all right, it was a chosen seed line that came from Adam, all right, you know, uh, uh, Abel, you know, who was then slew, all right, and you know, the, the line started again with uh, with Seth, you know, and then Lamech, you know, Eber, and then you know, on down the line, you know, I probably got a couple out of order, but at the end of the day, it was a chosen seed line that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah was always dealing with, but. The sons of God, all right, they pretty much, you know, began to go off and do wickedly just as the other heathen. And that, it, that, that wickedness, it polluted the earth just as we see now, man. Just as you see niggas that are moles, all right, that are modern day, you know, uh, witches and warlocks, all right, whether they actually practice, you know, uh, the, the cult arts or they, you know, dabble in, you know, drug dealing, which is witchcraft as well, man. But you see our people as the biggest murderers, all right? You know, the uh, 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 biggest adulterers, you know, idolaters. 
this wickedness is, is being spread throughout the whole earth, man. And you don't think Yahweh Shemal Shah is looking down on that and, and, and is pissed just like he was back then? Okay. Verse 6, it says, And it repented the Lord that he had made man on earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repented me that I have made them. And that's the same spirit that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is doing now. Or he's feeling now. But the, 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 the difference between then and now is that a, the Lord has, you know, a remnant that is uh, that is returning unto him. All right, and that will be delivered from the flood of fire this time, man. Okay, because like we said, man, the the the, the rain that came back then, okay, when it flooded the whole earth after the you know the flood happened, the Lord created the rainbow. All right, and the rainbow, you know, was a symbol of the covenant that the Lord made with the earth that He wasn't going to you know uh, flood it again, man. All right, let's get that because that's one thing. Of why uh, America is going to be destroyed because they took a beautiful covenant like that and turned it into you know uh, to wickedness, man. All right. This is Genesis chapter nine, verse eleven. It says, "And I will establish my covenant with you; neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood; neither shall any, there any more be a flood to destroy the earth." Okay, so the Lord prom made a promise that he wasn't going to flood the earth with water anymore, man. Okay, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah said, this is the token of the covenant which I have, I will make between you, it's like between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. All right, so that bow all right, it's speaking of the rainbow, all right? Just so you would you know, have clarity, this is in the NLT. It says, I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is the sign of my covenant with you and with all the earth. When I send clouds over the earth, the rainbow will appear in the clouds, and I will remember my covenant with you and with all living creatures. Never again will the flood waters destroy our life, right? And this is why when you see at the storm, you always see a rainbow Come after that, man. All right, which is a a, a a symbol of the covenant that the Lord made, how he wasn't going to flood the earth with water. But the uh, the flood that the Lord is going to bring this time is going to be with fire, man. Okay? Because this is the destruction. This is the, the, the sword, all right, that the Lord is going to use to punish the wicked this time, man. All right? This is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. It says, Behold, save the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. And this is why Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah all right, is about to make a move on you wicked ass niggas and, and, and the rest of you heathen out here, man. Especially you Edomites, man. Okay? But this is mainly, you know, uh, directed towards Jake. All right. The Lord says he's he's done holding his tongue, man. All right. Now he's he's about to execute, you know, that judgment. All right. He's about to bring that belt out for you rebellious ass niggas, man. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer in. I will suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually. And this is why, all right, as commanded, we are sent out here, all right, to, to sigh and cry for all the abominations being done in the midst thereof. And that we pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua brings speedy judgment, all right, to, to get rid of all this wickedness, man. Because that's what we know is coming, man. All right, when Yahweh Shah returns, man, he said he was going to do what, man? Let's get there real quick. All right, this is this is a, a a big deal that we see taking place, man. Okay, Matthew chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. It's like in verse forty-one. Salakia. It says, "The Son of Man 
shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be weeping. It's like there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Okay. So when Yahweh shall returns with the angels, all right, it's going to be a hit list of all you wicked Israelites out here that will not repent and that are continually to do wickedness, all right, to continue to uh, to sin against the heavenly Father and the Son, okay? All you will be, will take part in that lake of fire, man, okay? You will burn when those ICBM nuclear missiles are shot off over here and they, you know, they touch down, man, okay? Because the scriptures tell you all they, in fact, let me just get it. Revelation chapter 20, and I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those books, so like out of those things, which are written in the books according to their works. Right. Because... At the end of the day, we know that Yahweh Shah, when he returns, he's going to be the one to issue out the judgment. Okay? And as 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 tells you, that all must prepare before the throne of Yahweh Shah, all right, to, to pretty much, you know, give account of the thing that they've done in this flesh, whether it be good or bad. So the majority of you people all right, who are sowing wickedness in the earth, you're going to receive a, a wicked judgment because you're not written in the book of life, man. Okay? So as it says, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Because when Yahweh Shah returns, man, those that die on the earth, they're going to be risen up. So all these spirits, all right, that are on the earth is going to be judged. All right. That's why it says, man, the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right. So these are the things that we understand is coming. All right. And which we want protection from, man. Okay. It says, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. Right. And it says that death and hell was delivered into the dead. All right. What not? Which just doesn't mean that you know uh, the the hell on the on the uh, you know under the earth is going to you know be brought up. No man, death and hell are right, is, is dealing with the you know the judgment that these people are going to face. Man, okay. All right, because it says that and every man is going to be judged according to their work. So, hey, you, you're going to experience hell on earth as you burning in that fire, man. All right. That lake of fire. It says in death and the hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, man. All right. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into that lake of fire. So if you are not of the elect, you will die here in Babylon the great, man. All right. You will take part in that lake of fire, all right, if you're not of the uh, of the remnant, okay? And this is why we are, uh, you know, uh, are, are putting ourselves in the same, you know, stead as Noah. Because what Noah did was a was a great and uh, a, a righteous feat, man, okay? Let's get that real quick. All right, because hey, Noah, all right, he had an advantage over the rest of the people. That was on the uh, on the earth at that time because he had faith, man. OK, Hebrews 11 and 7, it says for it says by faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah of things not as not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. All right. And that's the same thing that we're doing, man. Okay, NLT. It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. And that's what we're doing spiritually in today's time, man. All right, we're, we're building, you know, the spiritual ark, you know, that we may be delivered from the flood that the Lord's going to bring this time, man. Okay. It says he obeyed Yahweh by Shem Yahweh who warned him about things that had never happened before. And that's what we're telling you people today. All right, that World War III, which is prophesied in the Bible, speaks of how this place will go up in flames. Okay, 
The Lord is going to send nuclear missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles from one side of the earth to the other side of the earth, man. All right. No, no time in history have you, you know, uh, uh, have we experienced nuclear war because we understand that hey, this war, World War Three, is going to be the war to end all wars, man, which is why, it, you know, when it was talked about, you know, amongst, you know, these different, you know, scientists, you know, you had the one, uh, Albert Einstein, he had that infamous quote that, you know, uh, uh, World War Three, or it's like World War Four, was going to be fought with sticks and stones because when World War Three happens and those nukes are shot off, all right, it's going to bring society back to the Stone Age, man, all right, because these nuclear missiles are going to, are going to you know, destroy everything. But we are, we also understand that through prophecy that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy the whole earth, man, okay? It's only Babylon the Great, the land of Israel, and wherever else the Lord, you know, is going to have these missiles touch that's going to really be uh, destroyed, man. But the scriptures tell you the earth abided forever. I believe that's uh, Isaiah 22, I believe. But at the end of the day, the scriptures detail that the earth is going to uh, is going to survive nuclear war, man, okay? And in the midst of that happening, all right, we're going to see new lands be formed, all right? And, and, and that fire is going to act as a cleansing agent, all right, to pretty much, you know, uh, uh, cleanse this 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 vile, decrepit, satanic, demonic-ass, you know, uh, 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 land. So much so that no man is going to ever dwell here again, man. That's how heavy that is, man. All right. So just as Noah was prophesying about how the Lord was going to flood the earth and nobody had ever seen rain at that time, man, we're telling you the Lord is going to destroy this world, it's like this kingdom with nuclear fire, man. And these people can't fathom that, man. All right. Never before have you ever seen nuclear missile talk like you like you hearing now. That's how we know how close we are, man. All right. Which is what's moving us, uh, making us move with even more haste in the spirit, man. All right. It says he obeyed Yahweh by Shema Shah, who warned him about the things that had never happened before. By his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world, and he received the faith, the righteousness by that by comes by faith. So it says he condemned the rest of the world. That's exactly what we're doing, man. The Lord commanded us to hate evil and to prophesy against it, man. Okay? And that's the main one of the main things that we're doing is prophesying against this wicked kingdom. All right? Beginning with you damn, you, you Edomites, man. All right? And, and the elite of the Edomites, you Amalekites, man. You small hats, man. Okay? We are condemning you for all your wickedness and, and as well as you, you, you damn niggas that refuse to repent as well, man. Because you don't understand what's, you know, what's about to happen, man. All right. You're sitting here concerned about, you know, bullshit. And even the ones that know a little something, man, you, you're, you know, uh, uh, seeing what's going on. You know how this country is about to go uh, belly up. So you got niggas preparing, you know, with, with, uh, with doomsday bunkers. All right. You know, you're uh, doomsday prepping. All right. Buying up all these, you know, uh, you know, food, guns, bullets, you know, making little uh, sellers and shit. But none of that's going to uh, deliver you from the destruction that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to bring if you're not of the elect, man. Okay? What we're, what we're doing is trying to secure our spot on the chariot because we know that's the only way out, man. All right? So when you hear us prophesying, all right, about, you know, being beamed up in those ships, people look at us crazy, man. All right? Like, this is some, like, sci-fi, you know, Star Trek type shit, man. You know, they hear us talking about, you know, being beamed up. They look at us like, yo, what the hell y'all talking about? But that's in the scriptures, man. Okay? And and guess what? When that happens, the whole world is going to behold that. Okay? As prophesied in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, man, which I'm going to read. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And that's exactly what we're doing right now, man. Okay, standing in great boldness before the face of all you people, because the scriptures say what, man, and that the righteous will stand as bold as lions, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So wait, we're not being moved by the unbelief of you people, man. Like it says in Second Entrance, the fifteenth chapter, man. All right, the uh, I believe that's around like the third verse, third or fourth verse. All right, let not the incredulity of them, you know, trouble thee. All right, because your unbelief ain't changing prophecy, man. So as much as you want to uh, uh, call us, you know, crazy and stupid 
for the things that we're saying. We say the same thing about you because you niggas can't see, man. Until you, you ain't going to be able to see till it's too late, man. Okay? So as these things begin to happen, all right, we're going to see, you know, a, a persecution take place on us to where this devil's going to roll on us, man. All right? That's the beginning of, of, of the flood, man. All right? The scripture tell you how the, uh, you know, this devil's going to come in like a flood, all right? Like a madman sparing none. But what's going to happen, man? The Lord's going to lift up a standard, you know, uh, against them, all right, to protect us, man. All right? So we don't have nothing to worry about as long as we continue to fear and believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right? So continuing on. Because, hey, look, when they when they see, you know, uh, brothers getting, you know, uh, you know, thrown in, you know, concentration camp, you see brothers, you know, uh, uh, be separated, you know, from their families. Some brothers might even get put to death for this for this truth, man. These people ain't going to realize that that was all done, you know, to test our faith, man. So they're going to look at that like, yo, that was a waste, man. Okay? Real quick, this is Wisdom of Solomon, the fourth chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 15, the points of 17. It says, This the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy is with his saints, and that he has respect unto his chosen because only the true believers in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua will, will readily be willing to give up their lives for this truth, man, as we are preparing to do, if that is our lot, man, okay? Because here it is, we didn't, we didn't, you know, gave up our lives metaphorically, all right, putting away, you know, our desires, our dreams that we had, we once had for the, you know, in this world. Because we understand that it's a it's a, a a bigger picture at the end of the day, and that whatever we gave up for this uh for this truth, the Lord is going to reward us a hundredfold for it, man. All right, so that's all going to begin with that protection the Lord is going to uh, give us during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, that respect goes into that uh, that covering for us, man. Okay, thus the righteous that is dead shall condemn the ungodly which are living, right? Because we're dead to this world. All right, while these damn zombies, all right, are, 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 you know, walking around in this world, man, okay, they're living, but they're really dead, man, all right? But we are dead, all right, to this world, okay? So it says, thus the righteous that is dead shall condemn the ungodly which are living, and youth that is soon perfected the many years and old age of the unrighteous, for they shall see the end of the wise and shall not understand what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and his counsel have declared of him, and to what end the Lord hath set him in safety, right? Because they're not gonna understand, you know, hey, the, the, the shit that we're gonna face, all right, to, to try our faith, all right, they're gonna look at that like, yo, why don't you just give up, man? Why don't you just, you know, uh, uh submit, all right? Because as we deny the uh you know the image of the beast, as we deny, you know, the uh the karagma. All right, we're going to face major persecution for that, man. But it's all, you know, in uh you know, looked at as glorious in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shah because that's going to really prove our faith in the Lord, man. And so to the rest of these people, yo, know, you're going to really starve, you know, instead of just bound to the uh to the beast system, okay? You really going to uh, get your head cut off for refusing to get chipped? Hell yes. Hell yes, man, because fuck that. We we don't want the judgment that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has said that's going to happen to those that bow the knee and then and then take that karagma, man. So to to the people, you know, that's not in, in this truth, man, they're not going to understand why we are literally, you know, uh, uh, as the scriptures say, dying daily, you know, for the truth, man. But we understand there's a bigger picture behind it, man. All right. So back in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation so be so far beyond all that they look for. And what are they going to see? The deliverance of the elect, man. Okay? Those that, you know, the Lord is going to beam up into the chariot, man. All right? Let's get that, man. First that's a slack is second Thessalonians chapter one verse seven. It says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from
from heaven with his mighty angels. So when Yahweh Shai cracks those clouds with the host of angels, all right, the elect will be beamed up, and that's when we will, you know, begin that rest, man, okay, because we're going to, you know, uh, be spared from that fire that the Lord is going to bring upon the earth, man, all right? It says, and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that knew not Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, right? So just as those people that, you know, that uh that didn't listen to Noah, how they were destroyed with that with that water, the same thing's gonna happen. Uh the people that refuse to listen to us now, all right, when that fire comes, man, right, you're gonna be completely consumed by that nuclear uh nuclear fire when the warheads touch down. Okay? So to, to the only way to get be able to escape that is to be beamed up in those ships, which when when that happens, the whole world will witness the elect being delivered, man. Okay? That's the beginning of our glory, man. All right? So back in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 3. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. And that's exactly how these people are going to feel when they see the elect being beamed up. Because all that shit they talked about us, you know, uh, uh, wasting our lives, calling us crazy. All right. Saying that we was teaching false doctrines, how we were false prophets and all that. They're going to see that the whole time we was telling them the truth. All right. But they didn't believe because they didn't, they weren't blessed with the gift of faith, man. It says, how is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And his lot is among the saints because it was chosen from the foundation of the earth who the elect is, man. All right. It just so happened that, you know, you know, uh, Lord willing, each and every one of us that's that's out here, you know, uh, that's doing the work and that believe. All right. We we were uh, uh, we were, you know, those those, you know, elected number from the foundation of the earth, man. All right. We were those first created spirits going all the way back. You know, to the beginning, when you're reading in Genesis, you know, chapter one, where it speaks about God, that, that word God means Allah Hayyam, the first created spirits, man. All right. So it says, how is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot is among the saints? And hey, they're, they're going to witness that because as the scriptures tell you, all right, the Lord will make known who are his men and those that are his are those that are doing the work, those that believe. Okay. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Right, because here it is, I, and the light is being shined in the, in this land of darkness, and hey, these people couldn't see that Yahweh Shah was was the way. All right, to lead them to, lead them to eternal life, man. Because here it is, you were being told, you know, that it was all these different ways to to attain eternal life. When the whole time Yahweh Shah was being presented to you and you denied him. Okay? It says, because hey, Yahweh Shah became a, 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 a stone of stumbling unto these people. Just like how, you know, it was whenever he walked the earth 2,000 years ago, man. All right? It says, we wearied ourselves in the ways of wickedness and destruction. Because as we were constantly being, uh, 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 we were constantly out here telling you people to repent. All right, repent and perish, repent and perish, repent and perish, man. Change your ways, man. All right, seek your how about Shem Shai. You people wanted everything but that, man. Okay, as it says in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, man. All right, you loathe, all right, the liberty that the Lord gave you, man. Okay, because the ways of the Lord was grievous unto you, because hey, you you preferred to live wickedly, as you know Satan, you know, gave you provision to in his kingdom, man. All right. So it said, we wearied ourselves in the ways, in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way, but as, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. All right, and because you denied it. All right, hey, you, 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 you know, uh, you shun the hand of the Lord. All right, you pulled the shoulder away, man. You didn't want to hear what the Lord had to say to you, man. Okay, it said, what have pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us, man? 
All right. And you see that all this work that you put in to try to forge yourself here and battle on the great. It was all for nothing because this place, as the scriptures say, man, it's going to go up in smoke, man. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to end with that. Second Peter, the third chapter, man. All right. This is Second Peter chapter three, verse six, whereby the world that was sucky, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, going into the first flood, man, at right, the time of Noah. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of the ungodly man. So everything that we're seeing, you know, uh, taking place in the world today all right, is, is all being preserved until the time that Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to fully, you know, uh, 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 bring forth that judgment, which is going to happen, all right, you know, during World War Three, man, all right, which is, you know, one of the final prophecies that need to take place, man, okay? So all you people that, you know, uh, the Lord has, you know, reserved for that fire, man, he just, he just fattening you up, man, all right? But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day, right? So hey, since Yahweh Shai, you know, ha, you know, has been back in the spiritual realm, it hasn't been that long unto him, but unto us, okay, it has been, you know, uh, uh, it's felt like, you know, forever, man. Because as we know, one day to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is a thousand years to us, man, okay? Because things in the spiritual realm move quicker, all right? It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, all right? And that's what we, you know, uh, that's what we tell you. Look, just because you don't see things, you know, moving in the time that you wanted to, doesn't mean that things aren't happening, man. Hey, the Lord is still going to deliver on what he commanded because it tells you that in Isaiah 50, the 55th chapter, man, all right? That the Lord's words weren't going to come back unto him void, man. They're going to accomplish what they set out to do, man. All right? So, hey, those, those arrows are going to be shot, man. And like the scriptures say, who shall turn them back? All right? So the Lord is setting the stage for all these different things to happen, man. Okay? It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So, hey, just as we are enduring all the wickedness that's, that's going on, just as Noah did, because, you know, Noah saw our, our people just being completely, you know, wicked, just as we see today. But, all right, it, it's to, you know, uh, it's to harden us, all right, to, to pretty much know... All right, how this uh, you know, this wickedness, all right, isn't good, you know, for the world. So when we get into the kingdom of heaven and we are put in those uh, in those thrones, in those judgment seats, man, all right, we are gonna know how to righteously judge the world, all right, when we are given, you know, that authority, man. Okay. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. So knowing that this this great and dreadful judgment is coming to the earth. All right. What should you be doing, man? Okay. As it's going to say, seeing then that these things shall be dissolved. Saki, so, so seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. And what's that talking about? This world and everything in it. All your accolades, all your accomplishments. Everything that you work so hard for is all going to be dissolved, man. When this place is burnt up by those uh, those nuclear missiles, man. What manner of persons are ye to be in? Hall, suck it. What manner of persons are ye to be in? All holy conversation and godliness. What conduct should you be in, man? How should you be, you know, uh, conducting yourselves, knowing that this great and dreadful judgment is coming? Looking for and hastening. Unto the coming of the day of Yahweh by Shem Shah, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Look, uh, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, right? So the things that we are doing to prepare, all right, to uh to get in to go into that new world, man. All right. 
because we understand that the uh, the end of the world doesn't mean the actual earth. Like I mentioned earlier, the earth is going to bow forever. So the end of the world is the the end of uh, end of an age, man. Eon, all right. The end of Esau's world, because the scriptures tell you that Esau was the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. That followers. So what you're literally witnessing us do is being uh, uh being prepped and prepared to enter into you know uh you know the 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 judgment seat of the new world man so what we're all doing is practicing all right on how to you know uh be as righteous as we can so that when we are finally changed and given those new bodies all right the mind is going to match the body and we're going to be able to to live perfect and enact and and act the law statute of commandments into the rest of the world man okay so everything that we're doing right now, all right, though it looks crazy in the eyes of these people in the world, is actually setting us up for success in the world to come, man. Okay? So we'll continue to look stupid for you, you people out here, man, because at the end of the day, all right, hey, we're, we're building a, a legacy, all right? We're building a righteous legacy that's going to live on forever, all right? So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation unto the elect. Until next time I say Shalom.